All right, Justin, um, high leverage. It's a, a question that we get asked all the time because um, to trade currencies, you do need leverage. Um, obviously, regulators around the world have clamped down on the amount of leverage that retail traders can get access to over the years. Um, why don't you tell the guys a little bit about leverage um, and the brokers that can offer high leverage in Australia? Okay, so, so leverage is required when you're trading uh, Forex because the amount that any, any currency pair moves is very modest. So we need to have um, leverage to amplify those changes and, uh, and that increases the risk. But based on some type of trading strategies, you require it. So what we've done is we've looked at the brokers that offer the highest leverage, but have a regu but a regulator at the same time. So we'll go into nitty gritty, but that's what we're gonna look at today. Okay, great, can't wait to delve into it. I'm Noam Corbel. And I'm Justin Grossbart. Welcome to Compare Forex Brokers. All right, Justin, we've got a list of the best brokers in Australia that offer high leverage, starting with number one. Who was the, the broker that we recommended at number one? Okay, so for number one, I want us to just understand, we are talking about an ASIC regulated Forex broker. ASIC have got caps, saying that you can only have up to 30 to one on major Forex currencies and 500 to one for professionals. And when it comes to who can offer that maximum amount, it is Pepperstone. So we are recommending Pepperstone as the best high leverage Forex broker with ASIC regulation. And not only do they have um, high leverage, they've got really competitive spreads, um, but the third part is they have the fastest execution speed. So people with high leverage are normally using automation. So they may use bots, um, uh, there's you know, with, you know their trading platforms like MT4, C Trader. You know these are primarily used for algorithmic traders. You need to have fast execution, so you need leverage, execution. Pepperstone have the best of both worlds, and their low fees make it like the trifecta. Okay, interesting. All right, so that's number one. Number two, we recommended IC Markets. Why IC? Okay, IC Markets are very similar to Pepperstone. Obviously the execution speed isn't quite there. But Pepperstone is really good for their um, ETN type account. So that's an account where you get a spread and you get a commission, okay? And, and, and a lot of traders like that. But some other traders prefer a standard account. A standard account is when there's no commission. So the spread is the fee and it's very visible, very easy to calculate. Your, you know, how you're going with your trade, so people prefer it. And I see markets have the lowest spreads of any Forex broker in the world. Okay. So obviously if you want a standard account, go for IC markets. If you're looking for a more easy or known as raw account within Australia, we'd go for Pepperstone. All right, interesting. Okay, number three on the list, and we're probably gonna to need to spend a bit more time on this because they're not ASIC regulated, yes. and you'll delve into that, is Black Bull. Um, who are actually a New Zealand outfit. Um, talk to the guys about Black Bull. I know they offer high leverage, similar to the other players. They're not, they're not Aussie regulated though. Sure, so, um, so we strongly recommend that Australian traders choose an ASIC regulated Forex broker. We understand that some retail traders really do require higher leverage and they may be an experienced trader as well. And if you are gonna look offshore, you definitely wanna find an offshore broker um, that has got a T1 regulator. And Black Bull markets that we're mentioning are regulated in New Zealand by the FMA, and they are a very strong regulator. There's been a few Australian brokers that have actually been uh, given a bit of the boot. That's how, so they're very tough, very active. They have very similar protections uh, to ASIC, such as negative balance protection. So within that framework, and obviously Australian is in quite common, Black Bull's our recommendation, and Black Bull offer up to 500 to one leverage for retail traders. So in Australia, the Australian brokers are kept at 30 to one, Black Bull's 500 to one. That means a lot of risk, okay? And we're putting that straight out there. But if that's you, well, Black Bull are, are the best broker in New Zealand, and their execution speed is almost identical to Pepperstone. Yeah. So they are a fast broker. They offer the most popular trading plat platforms such as you know, MetaTrader, MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5, and they've got just really good infrastructure. So this is what they're made for. They're made for people making a lot of trades 
with leverage, with advanced uh, strategy. So if you're a real experienced trader, you may like mm -hmm. this type of infrastructure, and that's why we're recommending Black Bull in these circumstances. They've also grown really, really rapidly over the last few years. Sure, so <coughs> yeah, we're talking you know, what used to be a small broker just in New Zealand, and they are onboarding a huge amount of trades, especially around the Asian region. So um, definitely the words get around that you know, there's a broker offering really competitive fees, really good trading environment and trading conditions and a good range of markets. And that's why they're growing so fast. Okay, all right, interesting. Um, all right, so just to summarize, um, Blackwell Markets was you know, probably the number three uh, most recommended um, high leverage broker. Yeah, um, an overseas regulator broker, um, and which obviously has some strengths and weaknesses as we discussed. Okay, number two is IC Markets. We said that they were pretty similar between them and our number one broker, but IC Markets, you know, offering, you know, all the all the features, all the trading platforms, all the services that you've come to expect from a well regarded forex broker, um, but they can provide expert traders. Um, in Australia, high leverage if they're professional. Yep, so if you're looking for a standard account, that's a no commission account, <coughs> IC Markets is who we recommend. Okay, and the number one regulated, number one um, high leverage provider in Australia, um, regulated by ASIC was Pepperstone. Why Pepperstone? Well, now we're looking at the raw slash ECN account, and then they've got some of the lowest spreads, and they've got the fastest execution speed, and they've got the best trading platform. So as I said, it's a trifecta, is the key reasons why we like them so much. We even measured how often they have zero spreads, and they had the, you know, zero spreads the most often of any broker that we compared, and there were a plethora of brokers within that comparison. So, um, you know, it's that group of reasons that if you're looking for high leverage, <coughs> if you're looking for the, you know, if you're looking for an ASIC regulate broker, Pepperson's our number one broker. All right, great. Guys, there you have it. Let us know what you think of the three brokers that we've just featured, Pepstone, IC Markets, and Black Bull. Um, please don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe. Um, thanks so much for your support. Um, let us know if there are any other topics that you'd like us to cover. You know, so far this month, we've looked at leverage, we've looked at execution speeds, we've looked at spreads, we've looked at spread betting. Um, if there are any topics that you'd like us to cover, please don't hesitate to let us know. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.